blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we're going to configure access control list for vty interfaces so remember vty interfaces are those terminals that we use to log into the device remotely telnet or ssh okay so i will open google spreadsheet and let you know and let you know that today we're in the final class under switching technologies right okay so alc scl for vty interfaces why would we want to configure access control is for vty interface because to restrict those who can configure the devices not everybody should be able to access to the networking devices and configure them but to only it or system admins or specific people within the IT department, not everyone, okay? So today we're going to do that approach and uh, show you how to secure uh, the VTY interfaces from unauthorized access. Okay, so I've already highlighted steps here through which I'm going to follow to achieve this ob objective. The first step is always to draw the instructive topology, decorate and decomment. Second step, Configure IP address to all the PCs plus routers interfaces and remember to test the communication. So this is a simple technology topology that we are going to use to uh, configure SEL for VTY interface. On the, uh, on the left side, I have an a IT department computer, sysadmins PC and on, on the bottom here, I have the sales department. And under sales department, I have these computers. And uh, the, the guardian here has said that we should configure IP address to all these computers and the router sitters. So uh, what I did was to uh, allocate this network uh, on IT department and this network for sales department. And uh, this router's interface to take 192.168.1.1 but this router interface to take uh, 192.168.2.1 okay so this one takes 2.8 2.7 2 2.6 2.5 but this one takes 1.1 so if i can just show you from this pc you can see ip is 2.5 then the default gateway is 2.1 which is the ip address of this one okay all right so the same applies to this pc if i can show you 1.5 and IP address is default gateway is 1.1, which is the IP address of this interface. So we need to test if um, the the IT department can reach sales department. So I'll try to ping. Um, I already did that. So ping that one. I can see it's reaching. And then another one was 2.5. Um, just give it time. It will ping because that is already in the network. Okay. All right. So um, that's achieved. That's achieved. So the second, uh, the second, the third uh, step is to configure any management VLAN and assign it IP address in the subnet. So we're going to do SSH on the switch. Okay. So we need to configure a management VLAN on the switch. Okay. Remember by default, uh, switch as uh, VLAN one. Okay. So I log into the switch. I log into the switch to configure the management VLAN. Remember, it is a management VLAN that we'll be using uh, to access the VTY interface, okay? We're going to sign IP address this management VLAN and use it to access uh, the switch remotely, okay? All right, so uh, enable uh, config T, okay? So uh, I don't want to create a new VLAN because uh, by default, uh, VLAN 1 is already created in the switch. So we need to use uh, VLAN 1 as our management VLAN here, okay? So we are going to use VLAN 1 as our management in this setup. But when we reach uh, under routing and we have done interland routing, we can read any other VLAN and use it as our management VLAN. But as for now, let's use VLAN 1 as the management VLAN. So how do we assign, um, how do we assign uh, IP address to a VLAN? So we just say interface VLAN 1. You enter that interface. Because we've said we are going to use VLAN 1 as our management VLAN because we've not done inter VLAN routing. We can't create any other VLAN in this setup because we've not done inter VLAN routing. So we have to use VLAN 1 as our management VLAN. Okay. So we just say, say inter interface VLAN 1. Then it's, al it's always in shutdown state. We need to turn it off. Just say no. 
uh, no shirt. Okay, now it's up, and we can send it IP address in the uh, in this subnet the way it was said here. Okay, in the subnet. So the subnet is uh, the subnet is two two dot zero. So we can send it any IP address in that subnet. And I will choose to send it IP address to the last IP address. So we just say IP add it to be 102.168.2.254. The last IP address in that subnet. Then submit mask 255.255.255.0 and hit enter. Very simple. How to I send IP address to VLAN. We just enter the VLAN number, interface, interface VLAN num number. Then you send IP address plus the submit mask. Simple. So number four, configure the router as the default gateway of the switch. All right. So remember, uh, this router here, the interface of this router, this interface, okay, which is 2.1, should act as the default gateway of this department, okay? All right. So we need to tell this switch that its default gateway is the IP address of this interface, okay? So how do we do that? Very simple. Just issue a command IP default gateway, default, default, uh, oh, sorry, exit first, exit that interface, villa. then say IP default gateway to be 102.168.2.1, okay? Exit. And I want to try if it will ping its default gateway 102.168.2.1. Oh, the switch, I don't, yeah, it's pinging, it's pinging. And what if it can ping uh, the IT department PC, which is uh, IT department PC serving IP address of uh, 1.5, sorry, yes, yeah, should be 1.5. Okay, let's say if it can ping 1.5. 1.5. Yes, it's pinging, so that's okay. So we've uh, uh, we've done number, number four, configure the route as the def uh, default gateway of the switch. So we tell the switch that its default gateway is is IP address, okay? All right. Now let's do this. Uh, let's configure enable password on the switch. Hostname plus domain name, username and password. Remember when you're configuring uh, SSH, make sure that these are included because if you don't include these, uh, your SSH might fail, okay? Or you won't proceed to configure SSH because these are the prerequisites, the requirements. So let's start with the hostname. Then you come to enable password. Then domain name, username and password, okay? Very very important. So uh, let's start with the hostname. Config T. So just say hostname to be test switch, test SSH, SSH, okay? Very simple. Then how do we proceed? We proceed to configure, what is it? Um, we proceed to configure enable password. Very, very important for uh, privilege exec mode. Enable password to be, let's just use Cisco. In my case, in your case, you can use anything like, right? Then after enabling password, we configure Domain name. Domain name very very important when you're trying to log into a device remotely. Okay, so we just say IP domain name. In my case, I always use Cisco.com. You can use Google.com, anything that you like. Okay, or your organization.com. All right. And finally, we configure username and password. So just say username. Cisco. Password to be Cisco. Username any name you like. Password any name you like. And delete enter. Then we're done with the number five. Let's go to number six. Generate crypto RSS, RSA keys using 1024 modulus length. So this is where SSH configuration begins. Because SSH will need these uh, keys to encrypt the, uh, the communication. Okay, so let's do that very, very fast. Crypto key generate RSA, RSA and you hit enter. Then you will find a prompt. Do you really want to replace them? Yes or no? Uh, yes. You can say yes and it will ask you how many bits. You can just say 1024 and you hit enter. Right? Okay, so it's very, very important to uh, generate the keys because this is what SSH normally use to encrypt the communication. Okay, all right. So the next step, uh, which is uh, number seven, uh, configure line VTY to use local database and to allow only SSH. Remember, it's the line VTY that we're going to use to remotely log into the switch. So we have to enter the line VTY 0 to 15. There are only 16 VTY interfaces. 0 to 15 is 16. You start counting from 0. Hit enter. Then we've been told to use uh, the local database. Use the local database. What are the local database? You can clearly remember that we configured username and password. So these are the database content that we're going to use here. So we just say here, when you come here, you come to the switch, uh, we just say login local. Okay? Using the previous username and password, okay? That you just configured. Then the statement goes ahead to say, to, uh, and to allow only SSH, we need to allow only SSH on the VTY interface. How do we do that? A very simple command. We just say transport input SSH. Or just let's query and see. Transport input. We can input all, which means telnet or SSH. None, none of them. SSH alone or telnet alone. But in this case, let's do SSH because SSH is the secure version to remotely log into any device. SSH at the Then we exit. 
all right okay number eight says uh enable SSH version two remember there are two versions of SSH SSH version one and SSH version two so we just how do we enable SSH version just say IP uh IP SS, SSH version query we have version one and version two version two is the best one you know the latest version and do it and that's all then number nine says try to SSH from any PC this will work in every PC let's do that okay let's start from the sysadmin PC I come here and um, um, how do I search? Just say SSH, SSH, then hyphen L, letter L, okay? This is not one, this is not high, it's letter L. Then the username, the username was Cisco, and the management IP address, okay? Which was 192.168.2.254, and you hit enter. You see, we are being asked password. The password was always Cisco. See, we are in test SSH switch, which is this switch here. So let's let's try to search from even the switch, the, the local switch, the local computer, I mean, any of them. Just say SSH, iPhone L, uh, this is the most Cisco, and the name appeared as the switch. All right, so it was 192.168.2.254, and you hit enter. You see, Cisco. And we are in test switch. Okay, all right. It should be it should be uh, this should work in every PC. It will work even in this PC. This one, this one. Okay, okay, all right. So let's proceed. Configure ACL access control list permit only sysadmin to access VTY interface. Guys, this was the discussion of today's class. How to configure ACL for VTY interface? Very simple. So how do you do that? We just log into this switch we just come to this switch and um, we create access list to permit only IP address with them uh, this is admin PC okay just say access 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 list access access list uh, let's say uh, let's just use the, uh, the basic the standard access list okay access list 10 permit Permit, let me query. Permit uh, host, permit host, permit host 192.168.1.5. The IP address of this admin PC, okay? It was 1.5. If I come here, if I come here, you will see it's 192.168.1.5, okay? Then when you come back here, when you come back here, you just hit enter, okay? Then you just say access list 10 still, deny any. We only want this host to be used, okay? Okay. So, it's very, very simple. Now, we, we, we associate this access list into the VTY interface to take effect, okay? Because it's just an access list, but it's not, it has not been, we didn't bind it to anything. So we need to bind it to, uh, we need to put it or insert it into a VTY interface to take effect. So we just log into VTY, line VTY, uh, VTY 0 to 15. Okay. And we just say access, access class 10. Access class 10, the number. Don't, don't forget the number, okay? Access class 10 to get inside, in, and you hit enter. That's all. Exit. Hit enter. Okay. So, what is it now? Try to SSH from any PC. Only sysadmin should work. Let's do that. From any PC. Remember, uh, when we were trying to SSH from this PC here, you can see we, it was successful and still we are here. So let's just exist, exit, and try to SSH again. Hit enter. What did you see? Hit enter. What did you see? Connection refused by remote host. 
access control list from virtual interface now let's go to SSH I mean sysadmin PC and try to SSH uh, sorry okay exit let's try to SSH again it enter you see sys Cisco exit SSH again Cisco yeah so that's what we wanted guys that's the simplest way to configure access control list for vty interfaces to control who can configure or manage our cisco devices so thank you so much i'll let you know that today we are done with the switching technologies and tomorrow we will begin from routing technology so i welcome everyone to this channel please subscribe like our video share the videos and please don't forget to drop a comment below it really motivates us a lot so thank you so much and let's see you again in the next video bye